Do you love soft, delicious chocolate chip cookies? Come along and I'll show you how to make them. So let's get started. Okay, so in front of me, I have my stand mixer, some room temperature butter, which I'll put in, and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and a quarter of a cup of just plain white sugar, or caster sugar. So I put it in, and now I just want to cream the butter and the sugar together. Now it's important that the butter is room temperature, just to make sure that it combines nicely with the sugar. If it's straight out of the fridge, maybe just put it in the microwave on short bursts, just so it warms up. You don't want it melted, you just want it room temperature. So we want to mix this for about two minutes. The crisscross motion of the mixing blades beat the sugar and the butter together, creating a nice homogenous mixture. Okay, now that looks nice and combined. So from here, I'm gonna crack an egg in. And I'll combine it. And meanwhile, I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now before I move on with the flour, I'm just going to scrape the sides of the stand mixer bowl down. Just to make sure there's no little bits of sugar or butter sitting on the bottom. Okay, next I want to slowly add my flour in. Now I have one and a half cups of just plain all-purpose flour. I'm just going to add in a little bit of the time, just so the flour doesn't go everywhere. So I'll put this back down and just slowly combine it. Now from here, I'm going to add some salt, so I'm going to add half a teaspoon and one teaspoon of baking powder, just so that it rises. And the secret ingredient, so if you want nice soft chopped chip cookies, add two tablespoons of, well in America cornstarch or here in Australia, corn flour. Now this makes the mixture nice and soft and chewy. Okay, so I'll slowly add this in. I'm just going to do a quick scoop down of the bowl. Look at that lovely fluffy and light mixture. That's just what we want. Okay. Now from here's the fun part. We want to add two cups, which is just two packets of chocolate chips. Now here I have one packet milk chocolate and the other packet is dark chocolate. You can use whichever you'd like, white chocolate, milk chocolate or dark chocolate. It's really up to you. I'm going to add them both in. Then I'm just going to conserve a little amount just going to conserve a few of the milk chocolate choc chips just to put on top of some of the cookies as they go in the oven. Okay, now we just want to give this a quick, just, just a quick mix to make sure it's well combined. Okay. Oh, I can smell the chocolate already. excess mixture off. Whenever I make these cookies they really never last longer than just a day or two. 
They're so popular, popular in my house. But if there are too many cookies, you can always freeze this. But if you are making them just for yourself or a couple of people, you can actually freeze this cookie dough. So what you want to do is put it in the fridge and set them into little bowls just to harden and then freeze them in probably the easiest way, some snap lock bags. When you want them, you can just pull them straight out of the freezer, let them just defrost a bit and then put them in the oven. Now that it's nicely combined, I'm just going to roll them out into little bowls onto the baking sheets. Okay, so I'm just going to start scooping these onto the baking sheet. Now remember, these will spread. So you just want little balls. You want to make sure that they're a little bit apart from each other. Otherwise, they'll turn into one giant cookie. Also, don't mind the flour on my shirt. It's not exactly a, a clean cookie. I mean, wearing black and making cookies and dealing with flour is not a good idea. want to give them a little pat down. I'm just going to use my hands, it'll be quicker. I'm just going to use my hands, it'll be a bit quicker. I don't really care too much about the sizing, but if you want you could get the spoon and measure out each cookie, but it's always fun to have different sizes and like I said before we can grab our extra chop chips. Put a few on top. As you can see here, there's plenty of chocolate chips in here. We don't really need to do this, but if you want to have a nice, pretty looking cookie. The other option is you can also wait till these are out of the oven and then stick them in once they're cooked and they'll melt and they'll you'll have more of a control over how they place. Anyway, I'm just gonna move this off to the side. And luckily, I have another tray already. Now this makes quite a, well it depends on the size of the cookies, it will make about 12 big cookies but I find I like mine to be a little bit smaller so I can have more at once. Um, they'll make probably about 24, but again it really depends on the size. So by the way my oven's preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. You only want to cook these cookies for about 10-ish minutes, but again it depends. I like my cookies to be a little bit chewy and a little bit almost underdone. If you like your cookies to be a bit harder and browned, keep them in for probably about more like 14 minutes. But you can you can see they'll they'll be pretty obviously done when you take them out. <laughs> mm. These are very yummy. Mm, I have to say the mixture of the milk and the dark chocolate are actually quite nice together. I've tried white before, but I actually haven't done dark. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need another tray. Put a little one there. Now, if you want these to hold their shape a little bit more, because beware, they will get quite flat and spread out. You can put them in the fridge for about half an hour just to firm up a little bit. But usually I don't like to wait. I just like to get them in and start eating them. Anyway, I might do two batches. So I'm going to set these in the oven. So oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes and we'll check back then. nice and out of the oven, my hands aren't so burnt anymore. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited just to get in and try one of these. They're nice as you can see, nice and soft and gooey and oh. I'll try these. Mmm. Mmm. If you love chewy and soft cookies, this is definitely the recipe for you. Mmm. Amazing. Well, thanks for watching this video and coming along while I make these soft chocolate chip cookies. If 
you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.